Hello guys, welcome to the video. For today I have prepared this multi-story elevator that you have probably never seen before. It is using some brand new Minecraft mechanics that have only been added to the game recently. This setup allows us to travel up and down between as many floors as you want, all the way from Y-64 up to 320. For this video, I have prepared four floors, roughly 64 blocks apart from each other, with the first floor at Y-64 and the top floor at 128. You can use either less or more floors at different heights. Now let's talk about how this works. In the overworld, we have these portal setups at our chosen Y coordinates directly one above the other. All these portals are connected to one central portal in the nether. The nether portal can be built at any height you choose. Using a redstone system that I will explain in a second, we are able to enable or disable individual portals in the overworld and always have only one active at a time. If only one portal is active, the game teleports us to that portal. The central portal in the nether has a selector panel that sends a corresponding hopper minecart into the overworld. If you want more details on how exactly this works, then check out my video Sending Signal Through the Nether Portal, where I explain this in more depth and show you a tutorial. In the overworld, the hopper minecart appears in the only portal that is active at that time, and then it passes this detector rail and bounces back to its position in the nether. This makes two things happen. First, the overworld portal is deactivated shortly after the minecart passes the detector rail. The next thing that happens when the detector rail is triggered, the signal also travels up or down the signal elevators and activates a different portal to which we want to teleport by triggering another dispenser that has a flint and steel inside. This reignites the portal at the floor to which we are teleporting to. To send signal up or down between the floors, I am using this observer and door setup. I'm not exactly sure if that's the best way of doing this, because we have to account for the delay that each observer causes. But I couldn't come up with a faster way of doing this while not compromising how compact this is, and also while being able to have multiple inputs at different heights. Using this setup allows us to stack the signal elevators right next to one another without them interfering. To teleport through the portals, we are using this minecart system, which makes it much faster to teleport than if we would just stand in the portal and wait. This was actually suggested by my viewers below my last elevator video, so thank you for that. If anyone has any suggestions or questions, I am always happy to read them, so don't be shy to leave a comment. After we select a floor, minecart is ejected from this dispenser and this Eto clock is triggered. We can go through the nether portal only after a new portal has been activated in the overworld, which takes a few seconds because the signal has to travel up or down the signal elevators. The amount of items in the timer dictates the length of the delay. For my setup I am using 6 items, which is exactly enough delay that we need for the signal to travel all the way from the bottom floor at minus 64 to the top floor at 128. We are always using the longest delay, otherwise you would need an individual timer for each floor. When the clock triggers, a quick melody plays and we are sent through the portal. On the other side, the minecart is destroyed and recycled in this system and we are ejected on this block. 
For that, we use this cauldron with lava set up. To go back, we dispense a new mine card that gets sent after a short delay. The delay is for us to get in and can be adjusted to be longer or shorter. We are again ejected in the nether and can use the system again to go to the same or another floor. Now the system would break if we would send two hopper minecarts in a row into the same location. For that we use the selector panel that prevents this from happening. Once a floor has been selected, the system remembers that and doesn't try to activate the same floor again. We can still go to the same location multiple times in a row and use the normal minecart every time. We just prevent the hopper minecart from triggering twice. The system has another function that I will try to explain on this scenario. Imagine you go from the very top, where your bed is, all the way to the bottom. You then die at the bottom and respawn at your bed all the way up again. The top portal is now deactivated because you use the system to go down. For situations like this, I have added this temporary reactivation system to every floor. We press the node block, which reignites the portal and starts this clock. After a few seconds, the timer triggers and the dispenser briefly dispenses lava bucket, which breaks the portal again. For this clock, we use 9 items inside the hoppers. For the last feature to work, you will need to use a chunk loader, ideally a portal based one. If you don't add this temporary activation setup, you will not need to chunk load the elevator. This video was meant to be just a demonstration of the system. At the moment I am not going to make a full tutorial, but if you would like me to make one, let me know in the comments and I will see what I can do. If you liked today's video, then consider liking and subscribing. If you would like to help my channel, the best way to do that is by leaving a comment, even if it's just a thumbs up emoji. You can also check my description to learn where you can find more of my content. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.